I'm in the Greek project called, and it's called the Third Arm. It operates so you push this in and it goes out and you can bring things up. It's like your temporary engine or something. And and then you can take that. Okay, so um, first we're going to tell you a little bit about what biomimicry is. So, um, biomimicry is basically like taking inspiration from like an animal or a plant or something in nature and turning it into a, into an invention that helps humans that are challenges faced every day. So that's a biomimicry. And why is biomimicry important? Biomimicry helps us to make the planet a better place by mimicking animal adaptations and making them into cool designs and inventions. And like animals know more than you think they do and they can teach you about architecture and like, many other things. So originally, as you know, biomimicry is taking inspiration from um, an animal or plant. So our animal inspiration were, we actually had three. So they made us fly trap. Um, we had the pangolian and we had the elephant trunk. So we thought that our um, our prototype was gonna, the arms were gonna um, snap close and pick up the object like that, not magnetically pick things up. So, um, the Venus flytrap, we kind of um, found that that wasn't really right for our project. And then um, the pangolin, we thought that our these would fold over each other into something a bit small, but then we found that that actually didn't happen. So then the last thing was the um, elephant trunk, and that actually worked really well with our project because elephants, um, they can, when they drink water, they go down with their trunk to pick up the water and then they bring it back to themselves and that's what this is doing. And that's like the same when they use food. Like when they get food they can like reach their trunk up to grab food from trees and then bring it back to their mouth or like pull something out of the ground to eat. When we were building our prototype we faced like a bunch of challenges. When we were, when we were building our prototype we had a problem when we were drilling the holes. When we first drilled our first holes, they were too small and the screws didn't fit in. And then we had to drill over with a bigger tip and then we fought and that didn't fit and then we finally did it again. And then the screws finally fit in and that took me such a long process, but it kind of showed me that you don't get everything right on the first try. Like we didn't get the right like size the first try. We had to try, try again.